Hello future F1 designers. In this video I'm going to show you how to draw the no-go zone for your Formula 1 in schools entry class car. So the first step is to draw the outline of the no-go zone with the ISO sketch. And really the best way to do this is just to follow the dimensions we've got on the screen for you and watch what the tool's drawing. So we're using the V of the ISO sketch to start off with a 30mm line and a 40mm line which make a V shape. And then we're just joining them together in reverse so that we create an oblong in the isometric view. And again, just extending one of those lines by 60 millimeters and then the same on the other side. So really all we're doing now is creating a footprint that will become the shape of the no-go zone, which is basically the chassis of your car. So for those of you that aren't sure what a chassis is, it's basically the body, the underneath of the body, the bit that you can't usually see, but the shape that holds the rest of the car together. So the thing that wings and wheels and all those kind of things are mounted, or in this case, drilled or fixed or screwed onto the underneath. So we're just going to create the shape here. So as you can see, using the ISO sketch and using the V shape just to keep things in a lovely parallel isometric view. So what you should have is a shape that measures 30 millimeters by 40 plus 60 plus 40 millimeters. All we're going to do now is just extend these lines, the ones you can see in the middle, by 10 millimeters and use the ruler to do that. So you've got a total line length there of 50 millimeters going across. So you're making kind of a, a top hat shape and then an upside down top hat shape if you like. And the gap between those lines should be 60 millimeters. So it's just basically what you've done earlier on, but now pushed out 10 millimeters. And this will give you the side pods of your car shape. So the bits that suck air into the radiators on a real Formula One car. So next step is to make this 3D. And we're gonna use the Isosketch V again, just to use our set angle, which is 120 degrees for an isometric drawing and drop each of the corner lines down by 15 millimeters, as you can see in the top right of your screen there. So just using the ruler carefully, and we're gonna start from 15 and draw back to zero, because it's easier that way. There's no risk of us running too far on the ruler. We start at 15 and work back to the stop, back to the middle of the V. So each line, really easy this, each line is 15 millimeters, and that will give us a total depth of the chassis, or the no-go zone, of 15 millimeters. So now we've finished the overall shape and we've dropped down the lines by 15 millimeters, we're just going to basically mirror that shape. So we're going to use the ISO sketch V to draw our 30 millimeter, our 40 millimeter, and now our 10 millimeter line. Just using the ruler now to finish off a 60 mil line. Again, starting at the open end of the ruler, and working back to the start, so we can hit that stop. And make sure we don't go too far. And then the last bit again should be a 30 millimeter line, but we can't actually see the end bit because it's hidden behind part of the drawing. Now step three is adding the engine chamber, which is crucial to your Formula One in schools car design. And to do that, we're just gonna mark in 60 millimeters from the end along each of those lines and draw down 29 millimeters to that point. So we've drawn in from the end of the block, 60 millimeters, marked a point, and then drawn a 29 millimeter line down to each point. So we're gonna create that as a sort of, almost like a four poster bed now at this stage. So from each corner, from the ends, of the chassis. So on the right of our page is the back of the no-go zone, the back of your car, and we're creating the engine housing at the back, which is where the cartridge full of CO2 gas is going to get placed when your car is ready to race. So the gap between these should be 30 millimeters, and again just use the isosketch ruler to make sure of that, and then join them up and you should have a 60 millimeter line there to finish off. So the engine housing is, if you think about it, 30 millimeters by 29 millimeters by 60 millimeters long which fits in perfectly with the entry and development class technical regulations this year. And the beauty of using Isosketch for this is that all your lines are kept in perfect isometric so that the whole drawing is, is in correct 3D. So what we're doing now is just finding the center of the front of our no-go zone, which is a 15 millimeter mark, and then marking three millimeters either side. So we're marking off a six millimeter gap which we're going to then create into a little 6mm square. So having marked in the middle and 3mm either side, we're now going 6mm up from each of those dots. And this will give us the slot which runs underneath your car, 
which becomes the tether line guide, which for those of you that have not done Formula 1 in schools before, is what stops your car flying off the track. It's essentially a bit of fishing line that stops your car from shooting off sideways when the CO2 canister's punctured. Okay, so what we're doing now, just to finish on, is using the isometric circle stencils with an isosketch and just using the round edge to give our engine housing that nice curved edge that you'll see in the no-go zone. Not just for style, that's actually part of the regulations. The no-go zone has a rounded off engine housing just to allow you guys a little bit more freedom with the shape that you create. So instead of having sharp edges that you can't do anything with, you can decide if you're going to add on any extra features to the edge. So that's basically how to draw the no-go zone. And step four, because ultimately we want it to look good, we're going to add some definition. We're going to do it using a thick fine liner to begin with. So I've just sped this up a little bit just to show you how you can create this quickly and easily. This is using a 0.5mm fine liner pen. That doesn't really matter whether you use a 0.5 or 0.7 or even a 1mm or even a marker pen. Just as long as you use a thicker line around the outside that's still not too thick that it covers everything. So now all we're doing is rubbing out the lines to give your finished no-go zone. So now it's time to watch how to design the body of your Formula One in Schools car.